You can see the grass they're standing in. Really, you know, we're a producer of forage. The animals are just converters of the forage to pounds of meat. Calves sold. Um, you know, this will make a, an outstanding set of cows a year from now when they go to calving. They'll uh, be front pasture. The grass uh, is a project that we've got into this year. We're now able to impregnate, combine the liquid Grazon and Chaparral with the fertilizer. This was applied in late March. If you'll look across it, you don't see any weeds. See right back here where we didn't apply any, we ran out and you can see the difference. Now you tell me which the cattle would prefer. Uh, most generally you'll do this in the early spring, March and April for season long control. As I previously said, it's a one pass operation, reduces cost, allows a lot more flexibility in time. You can spread the fertilizer with the chemical in a lot of days that it's too windy, etc., to use a spray coop. Think about the rough ground that a lot of our pastures are in. It's difficult to put a spray coop in them and apply it in a liquid form. By impregnating it into the fertilizer, you don't have those problems. It's the real deal, folks. It's something to consider. You'll notice also one of the benefits to the the weed control in your pastures is where the cattle graze. They will go to the areas that's uh, been sprayed before they'll go to the weed infested areas. They will continually do that. The grass will respond when a rain comes and the sunlight's is shining. Uh, you'll be surprised how much faster the treated area will come back. Rotational grazing is another plus on these kind of operations where you're trying to raise grass. Don't eat it into the ground, leave three or four inches and move them to a fresh pasture. They'll get to where when you go toward a the gate, they'll move themselves. If we don't kind of know the operation, we'll be glad to go out and look at it with the folks, get an idea of what their weed problem is. When you go to trying to control weeds, the target, the bullseye of what you want to kill is very important. Some of the weeds, uh, and the brush, a uh, buck brush is a good example, is very time sensitive. And once it gets uh, that wax coating on the leaf, it's very, very hard to kill. Uh, probably the bullseye for trees and pastures is uh, about tax day, April 15th. 2,4-D or 2,4-D in a combination of Grayson Next will do an excellent job of controlling buck brush, along with most all varieties of thistle and general weeds. If you look at the cost that we incur to run a set of cattle, it's feed. Forage that we produce is by far the cheapest source of feed. You look at the carrying capacity of grass like this compared to something that's in, got a lot of invasive weeds that's robbing the desirable plants from fertility and space and moisture and sunlight. Um, the cost of the weed control is normally relatively inexpensive. You're talking adding it to the fertilizer in that $12 to $14 an acre range. Uh, think about it, $12 at a half a pound a day uh, gain that we'd hope to achieve is not very expensive. I know cattle's cheaper, but bush hogging is cosmetic. Bush hogging costs. This is a one pass deal and you see what you get. It's always uh, kind of works on my mind when you come out of the morning, you see a new calf, whether it's a foot of snow or the sun's just shining, how they can turn into what they do. You watch them as they grow. It's uh, easy on the mind and heart. Makes it all kind of worthwhile. These old gals are Good calf raisers. 